Hi y'all, I'm Anne Marie Goss, and as you know, this is my demonstration. So, we're going to play a quick game. It won't be that long. It's called This or That. Okay, picture this. It's Christmas time. Would you rather take some... Would you rather take some hot cocoa or some eggnog? I think we all know the answer here. It's got to be hot cocoa. Okay, it's Valentine's Day. Would you like some hot cocoa or the chalky heart things? I think it's clear. Okay, it's Easter Sunday. Does anybody want hot cocoa or lamb chops? I think all of these are clear. It's definitely hot cocoa. Okay, so here, here are some questions that you're probably wondering to yourself. What are the ingredients in hot cocoa? Some ingredients are powdered sugar, powdered milk, and cocoa powder, and some salt. Super easy, right? Okay. Is hot chocolate and hot cocoa the same, or is it different? This might surprise you, but actually, hot chocolate and hot cocoa are different. Hot chocolate is when you just take melted chocolate and put it in water. Water or milk. But hot cocoa is a cocoa powder mixture that you put into a hot liquid, such as water or milk. Do you need an adult helper for this? Me personally, I don't think you do. I mean, making the mixture is easy, but putting the water or milk in the microwave, that's the tricky part. I don't mind putting it in, but we used to have a microwave. It was on the counter, so I could take it in and out easily. But now we have one above the stove that's really high that like I can reach now, but I need a helper so I don't spill it on me. So other than getting out of the microwave, I think you don't need one. Is there an expiration date? Well, that's a tough call. Powdered sugar, as you know, it, it never expires. Powdered milk will be good for about 10 years. The cocoa powder is pretty good for like three years or so. And the salt, I don't think it ever expires, unless you run out, that is. <laughs> okay, now you're probably wondering, is it healthy? Well, this may surprise you, but it actually is very healthy. Cause it has flavonoids, which it helps you think better. It has polyphenols that can help reduce stress. It has antioxidants that help for prevent cancer. Okay, bring on that hot cocoa. <laughs> and it also, and it gives you less fat than hot chocolate. Cause choc hot chocolate is literally chocolate. Okay, you're probably wondering, why don't you just give us the recipe already? And that's what I'll do now. So the recipe is super easy. It's just one and a half cups of powdered sugar, one and a half cups of powdered milk, one cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened, a pinch of salt, and that's just a boring way. How about you add some optimal optional ingredients like cinnamon, cornstarch. Me, I personally like cinnamon and cornstarch in mine because the cinnamon gives it a little bit of spice and the cornstarch makes it thick and velvety. Mm. And you can add instant coffee, not the beans. Because the instant coffee, you just put it in the mixture and voila, you're done. It's a cocoa mocha. If you want a Mexican spice to it, add some Cheyenne pepper powder. But if you want it like a smooth vanilla -y taste, like ice cream, then you can add some powdered van vanilla cream, coffee cream, coffee creamer. Okay, let's go ahead and make some already. We have our one and a half cups of powdered sugar. One and a half cups of powdered milk, one cup of cocoa powder, 
and a pinch of salt. Now, what optionals do I want? Hmm, that's a tough call. Maybe we should try all of them someday.